Hello everyone, my name is Elizabeth. Welcome to my space. Today I'll be preparing abula. Abula is originated from West Africa, Nigeria, especially from the Oyo people in Ibadan specifically. So Nigeria is in West Africa. West Africa is a Africa is a continent and then you have west africa just like the way you have the north america the south america so you have west africa so in west africa you have nigeria and in nigeria we have a lot of states one of the states is oyo state in oyo state the tribe called the badon people are the one that actually eat this food this is where this food originated from and it spread wide like fire i could say in the yoruba land uh, 95 people love this meal there is no occasion if you present this wow the people will go for it that is what will, outside your jollof rice and your fried rice this is the next thing anybody that wants to eat okele this is one of the things they will go for both old and young they will go for abula abula comprises of amala begiri ewedu and your steel your amala is made from yam not the yam from potatoes from yam so bad they cut it into smaller pieces and the sun dry it then they blend it after blending it you sieve it then you have your powder now your begiri is made from beans this is my sauce that i always make for food prep i buy in bulk then i make them in i i there's a way i i do it and then put them in smaller containers so when i want to cook i know what i want i just pick it up so here i'm using for my steel i'll be using cow feet and i'll be using more and um what's it called um oh no god goat meat but first i will be i will go ahead and boil my cow feet because they are very tough so i want to boil it like halfway then i will add every other meat so i'm using black eye beans and that is my we do yeah those are the two this is the we do and the beans you can use the regular red beans for these two so right now <laughs> I love to use palm oil to make my stew because it has a distinct taste, very yummy taste. You can't get it when you use the vegetable oil and the, you know any other oil. But when you use palm oil for this, you have the feeling of back home, like when you go to the buka like Odoya Lukwa Lamala, the Amala spot. Yeah, that's the kind of feel I'm going for. Because on this occasion, it was Father's Day. Yeah, I know. Father's Day is long, long way gone. But that was what I made for my husband on Father's Day, you know, to appreciate him. So now I'm peeling my beans. I want to do it because I have, a, I, I felt I had a lot of time. So I decided that, oh, let me just peel it with my hands, you know, I've missed doing that. And I remember when I was very young, I hated to do this. Oh my goodness. I hated to do this. I have a sister, she would be like, oh, you, if you, you have to peel these beans before you leave this house. Because then I will have to, like, I was schooling and working at the same time. But she would be like, if you don't peel these beans, when we make moi moi, because if you want to make moi moi, this is what you still do, akara and all that. If you don't peel these beans, by the time you come back in the evening, you will not have any of this delicacy, like the moi moi 
especially on Saturday. So sometimes I will just damn the consequence and just go. I'm sorry I used that word. But sometimes I will just spill it grumbling and like, you this girl, you're looking for my trouble. If you are watching my video, you know, you know I'm talking about to shout out to you. <laughs> so I decided to, you know, just do it this way. I'm like, oh then they used to force me to do it, but now I'm enjoying it. But if I know I have less time, I'll just soak my beans. Once it's soft, a little, I put it in the blender, do my thing, and then sieve the shaft away. The meat here are seasoned, they are just waiting for me to put them in the pressure pot for them to cook. But I want the cow fit to be very soft. You know, you don't want your guests to be, you know, struggling with the meat, with the cow. They will enjoy it. But when it is soft, ah, it is yummy, yummy, yummy. I know Father's Day is past, but I want to say Happy Father's Day to all the responsible men in the house. Shout out to you. Keep doing your thing. Keep encouraging your children, showing them love, being good examples to them, you know. Because not all fathers are responsible. That's a story for another day. So right now I'm adding my, my meat into the pot so that I can boil everything together. So right now, this is why I love my air fryer, my instant pot. So it's a dual uh, function. It has two topping. So I'm, oh yeah, this is it to, to air fry now. No, to pressure cook. So my soup is bubbling. When I was very, very young, when I was still in like college, yeah, like college, my mom would be like, she would mention, she would say, oh, you, you are going to use all your husband's money to, you know, to make soup. You are going to cook with all his money. He won't have money to do any other thing down. The only thing he's going to achieve is you cooking. She would say it in our language in Yoruba. Ah. I'll be so upset that why do I have to bo me see? It will not be sweet. <laughs> I love my stew to be thick. I love my soup to be thick. I don't like it to be watery. And my mom, no, I understand what she's going through, you know, for her to fend for us. Though she's late now but right now i understand what she was going through you know thinking oh this soup if, if this still finish in two days i have to bring out another money for her to cook again so she's trying to manage her resources i'm adding a roux a roux woro to my a i always add onions to my What's it called now? To my bakery and crayfish. That is um dry shrimps in my widow and also in my bakery. So I let my bakery boil halfway, not really hundred percent cooked. Then I boil it. That was a trick. You don't have to wait because. Um, back in the days, what they do when we don't have blenders, what we do is you you cook it down like you're cooking beans. It has to be well done, very very soft. Then there's something we call a jabe. I don't know what's called in English, but it's the jabe. Then you you use it to break it down. But since we have blender, I don't have to cook it all the way. All I need to do is just cook it halfway to be a little bit soft. Then. I blend it, put it back in the pot, add some palm oil, and voila. It's all done. You, then I cook it a little more, add more water because the beans is always very 
thick so you loosen it up with more water and i want the palm oil to, to like you know mix with it so that is what i'm doing right now So right now, I air fried my meat. I didn't want the video to be too long, so I had to you know, cut it short. So if you notice, the the lid of my instant pot has changed. I changed it to the air fryer. So my meat is fried now. Um, don't get me wrong. Um, you can fry it with oil the, the regular way, because when you season your meat very well and you fry your meat in the oil and use that oil either palm oil or the normal oil to cook the steel man the flavor is bomb but i didn't want to go through all that splashing i'm done with splashing the oil all over the house and everything you know so i just love this route boil it in the uh, air in the instant pot air fry it and then you can air fry it you can bake it you can because the air fryer has a lot of functions so and just dump it in your stew that you are already boiling and before you know it it's just like a magic your stew is ready So I'm adding broth from the from the meat I boiled earlier. That is my Ewedu. Ewedu is ready, Gregory is ready. Yeah. I made this soup on Father's Day. This is the meal I made for my husband on Father's Day. And I'm doing this voice over in what is it? July 1st. I promise I'll I'll just you know go ahead and bring this video out today. I'll do everything humanly possible. This is my Amala powder. So I'm trying to make Amala now. That is what you eat the steel with. Yeah. So Amala is gotten from yam, not um, potato yam. This is gotten from real yam. So they cut them into pieces. The sun dry it. After sun drying, you you blend. After blending, then the you sieve it. That is when you can use it to make amala like this. Solid food. Yeah. 
and it's so easy to make. Though people are always scared of making it. Even me, I'm always scared of making it. But now, this is a piece of cake. Why people are scared of making it? Because they don't want it to have lump. Yeah, because when it has lump, people would like grumble about it and be like, oh, what's this? So that is why people are always scared of making a mess of it. So I'm adding water now. After all this, mixing the flour and the water together, you you add in water to it and cover it to boil so that it can cook. So you scrape all the parts because you don't want anything to be left behind. Yeah. I feel like eating Amala again today. You know, just looking, doing this voiceover and just, I'm going to eat this thing today again. I still have to give you my freezer. I'm going to eat it because uh, I can't resist it. Then I'll use this opportunity to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate you. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, comment. Both my new subscribers and my old subscribers, I really appreciate you guys. But I need you guys, I need more engagement on my channel. This will help me a lot. And um, from all set, I've said it that you know I need communication between us. Please, please drop a comment. Let me know if you like to eat amala or you don't like it. Or if you are just seeing this food, this kind of food for the first time, you know or you see it you like it you want to try it you cooked it because i you watch it on my channel you know just drop a comment let me know that oh uh, it will encourage me a lot to know that oh uh, you are engaging with me you're responding to me to so that i will not be lonely in this space because i've said it i want a relationship a communication between us so right now my amala is ready so i'll just save and at this point i was very tired i was really 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 tired i know i always say i'm tired in my videos that's a story for another day maybe in the future i will share why i'm always complaining of tiredness um yeah i said maybe when i'm comfortable i will share it yes this is how you serve it you put the amala first you make a hole then you put the bakery then you put the widu and you put your steel and your meat Ooh, it's so yummy Okay, so that is the end of my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, to comment, and let me know your thoughts, the kind of videos you want me to make, the kind of food suggestions you want me to make, and I'll be willing to do that. Thank you. Bye.